Today let's learn about general syntax and usage of switch case statements. I'll take an integer variable choice. I'll ask the user to enter his choice and store it inside the address of integer variable choice. Now I'll directly write the switch case statements that is switch and case are both keywords okay this choice can either be an integer constant or an expression that evaluates to an integer inside switch we will write some cases in this case i'll write case one i'll write a printf statement this is our first choice let me copy this and paste it let me call this case two and this is our second choice just observe these two cases if we compile and run this and enter case as one that is choice as one what you might expect is this is our first choice must get printed but does that happen let me check that out i'll enter one this is our first choice this is our second choice both the cases the code present inside both the cases gets printed now i'll choose two so this is second choice gets printed so this is because we do not have any breaking instruction so let me give break after case one code and break statement after case two code <clears throat> just note that after every case you need to have a break statement that's it now it's working only this is our first choice gets printed and since control encounters this break statement the the control exits this switch statement you can't use continue here because this is not a, a looping construct so it will throw an error it won't skip the code after it and uh, shift the control back to beginning of the code it won't happen because it's not a looping construct so don't use continue statements inside switch case okay inside case you can even use characters a b c d etc behind the scene it will be using ascii characters so let me show that to you i'll take character variable choice i'll change it to percentage c now so if i enter a it will show this is our first choice let me enter one we don't have any case for one so it's just showing blank space so instead we can have a default block whenever a user chooses something which do not match to any of the cases present in that case the default the the code inside default block gets executed uh, having break statement here is optional because usually default is the last statement inside switch case so anyhow the control will exit the switch case so there is no point in having break statements inside default block okay it's working so if we have multiple cases multiple statements case where it matches the constant it will throw start throwing errors okay so all the case constant must be unique in this case a and a will throw error okay i'll make it integer percentage d also order in which these integers or the cases uh, come doesn't doesn't actually matter okay you can have this cases in any way you want in this case we have case 10 first and then case 8 after case 10 so and it doesn't matter actually so if we any code that comes inside switch must be inside any of the cases or else it will just be ignored it won't even throw errors it will just get ignored for example this is the first statement inside switch this printf doesn't come under any of the cases okay 
but it doesn't throw any error but it doesn't get executed too okay it doesn't have any effect it will just be ignored by the compiler so let me remove this let me get back to character itself i'll show you one more example here char choice percentage c so we will take case a smaller case letter a as well as capital letter a Swin since we have not specified break statement for case a whenever user enters smaller case a or capital case a you typed a capital a or small a gets printed and then the break break statements execute okay so uh, let me show that to you you typed capital b or small letter b so let me show you how it works we have break for one break for two cases and it should work i'll give b small letter b it works i'll give capital letter b now still the same printf should work and it's working so that's it simple but very effective it's it executes faster than if else ladder so uh, where, whenever there is a chance of using switch case it's always better uh, with respect to speed of execution to use switch case itself also note that curly braces are completely optional and it doesn't have any significance here so it's better not to write curly braces you don't throw any errors by the way okay please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic please stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you